I started off doing environmental science and psychology as my undergrad majors. And it was through that process that I started to realize that human decision making was so important for so many of the environmental challenges that are faced in the world. And so I did my honors and my PhD in psychology, and that was wonderful. It really helped me to understand decision making and how people think and respond to different types of, of behaviors and, and perceptions around environmental related, related issues. But it didn't have the other missing piece. How do you actually motivate change at scale? And so following my PhD, moved across to marketing. And I think that it was that marketing lens which really helped to tie it all together. How do you actually motivate behavior change at scale, but at the same time drawing upon psychology to understand decision making and perceptions and also having that environmental focus, which was there from day dot through environmental science. So that sort of broadly speaking um, talks to how I ended up with where I where, with where I currently am. It was a really great opportunity to look at issues of what I consider to be the probably the biggest issue for climate change, the energy system. If we don't find ways of being able to decarbonize that rapidly as quickly as possible, the planet's cooked. And so what do we need to really do to try and make sure that both from a Victorian perspective, but also from a national perspective, we're able to institute those things in the energy system that will really help to decarbonize it. And again, issues of human decision making are really foundational to the piece of work that we're doing. How do we actually look at issues of consumer adoption? How do we find ways of encouraging consumers to make the changes that they need to do to ensure that we can actually start to decarbonize the energy system as quickly as possible? We are looking at two things. First, how do we motivate the adoption of energy technologies that we need to help to decarbonize the energy system? So that's EVs and smart chargers, that's the electrification of gas appliances, and also the adoption of home batteries. The second element is looking at ways of better integrating those technologies into the grid in ways that aren't going to frustrate or annoy consumers. One of the beautiful things about studying consumer psychology and decision making is that very occasionally you get to look at things that are a little bit unusual, a little bit random. And one of those was around the effect of Christmas trees on the way in which people approach um, interactions in retail environments. What we found is that in the presence of a Christmas tree, people are far more forgiving of bad service than what would be the case if Christmas trees weren't present. So nothing to do whatsoever with environmental decision making, but one of those fun things that you occasionally get to look at in academia. And this was certainly a little bit of a passion project, which was suggested and really fun findings.